You guys ready to have some fun? Let's have some fun with a new feature in Dreamweaver. Go into Pages. I want you to open up Chicken One. Bark, bark. All right, there it is. Now, I've already put this together. I want to show you what it is, and then I'm going to show you how I did it. Go into Live. Now, let me bring that up real far here, something like that. Watch what happens when I hover. Ain't it cool? These are the new CSS transitions. Oh, incidentally, don't follow that recipe. If you did, you'd probably die. I just made that up. How did you do that? Well, there is a new panel right here called CSS Transitions. And I want to tell you, every time Dreamweaver comes out with a new version, I always look for something that's going to be my latest fav, right? Hey, this is cool. I like these things. Took me a while to really get into them and understand what they do and how they do it. But once I did, I really do like them. Now, I'm not going to show it to you here. What I want to do is I want to break this down into its basics. I want to show you how this was made right here. But we're going to do it in a new document. Now, there is a method to my madness here on why I want to do this. Ever work on a brand new thing, like Dreamweaver CSS Transitions is brand new. You've not used them before, but you are curious about them. And you start working on a page. But there's so much other stuff going on on the page. And I know we don't really have a lot on here. But sometimes that can be enough to just kind of distract you from focusing and targeting on just that one thing. So what we're going to do, basically, is we're going to create a blank document. And we're going to work in that blank document. And then you'll know exactly how I did this. Because all I did here was make a div. And then I changed the div with the magic of CSS transitions to do this. I think that is so cool. Let's go up to the word file on the pull down menu and go down to new. Blank page HTML none. Don't worry about anything. Just click create. Here we go. Insert. Layout objects. Div tag. OK, we're going to call this one information for the class. Just type in the word information. Type in anything you want there. But remember that name. Click OK. There she is. Come over into CSS styles. We have to make a style here. And it's important how you set this up. Go into new. Now this class is going to be called dot information. That's already set up for us, So let's just leave that alone. But if that's not there, class can apply to any HTML element is what you want. And then you would type in dot information. Click OK. Oh, incidentally, we're not going to save this document. We're not going to keep it, so we'll just do this as an internal style. On type, don't do anything. Background, well, let's give it a color so you can see how it works. But we really don't need to give it a color because it's covered by an image. Click apply, there it goes. Go into box. Make the width 338. Why? Because that's the width of my graphic. I had to know that. Oh, incidentally, the graphic in that little part, you know, where it's got the recipe. I did all that in Photoshop and made it one big graph. That's where I got it. Now, the height is actually of this image is 476. Make the height 200. I don't want to show it all at once. That's what the CSS transition is going to do for me. Now, down here under positioning, just really one thing. Overflow. Hidden. Go ahead and click Apply. And there you go. Now, we could center it, but we won't. Go ahead and click OK. Let's get rid of this text. Now the image is over here. Let me get out of pages and go into images. And it's called chicken and rice. If we go into assets right here, there it is. It's one big graphic is all it is. Let's go back over here to files. And let's drag that guy over, chicken and rice. Put it right in here. We didn't save this document. It's saying, hey, guy, you didn't save it. So I'll tell you what, I'll make a relative path until you decide to save it. We're not going to. Just click OK. And I will break with tradition and not put in alternate text. We don't need to waste time on that either. Although, obviously, you should. Click OK. Now, there it is. You can see that this part is visible. And this part down here is hidden because I said hide the overflow. So the next step is, how do we change that? Go into CSS Transitions. 
So you're looking at the exact steps that I did. I created a div in that container and I went through those same steps. No difference whatsoever. Go in, click the plus sign. These are so cool. Now what's your target rule? Remember the name, it's information. Now we only have one, but that's the rule we want to change. What do you want it to transition on? I want it to transition on a hover. Now you got other things, you could try other things. Here's the property. Now, if I click that button, let me move that up a little bit more. You get all kinds of stuff. Now this might seem counterintuitive. You could use maximum height. I'm gonna use minimum height. Well, think about it. When you hover over the box, the minimum height's gonna change, it's gonna expand that area. So I'm gonna go minimum height. You have use same transition for all properties. You can have more than one. Or would you like to actually change the properties based on the transition? So you could have it, oh, I don't know, open up and then maybe change, put a border on it at a different time. You could, well, play around with it. You could do a lot of different things. We're gonna say same transition. The duration, how long does it take to open? I'll say two seconds. The delay, you ever go to these websites where you move your mouse and you're just trying to get to the other side and everything's popping up and blowing up in your face because they have no delays on anything. I don't want something to open up if I'm just trying to move my mouse someplace else. So I'm gonna give them a break on that and give them a half a second. They have to be on the chicken and rice for a half of a second before it works. The timing, oh, you got ease in and out, things like start slow goes faster or the opposite. I'm just gonna do an ease, let's be simple here. And finally, the end value. Now the height of this image is 476 pixels. Click Create Transition. Click the Live button and prepare to be amazed. I just love that. That is so cool. So if we go back to this one, the reason this works, exactly what I did, except without the confusion of all the stuff going on. Create yourself a div in here and follow those exact same steps and you got it. Now this one, we didn't do anything to. All you really have to do is close it. And this one, you could save it if you want, but I'm just gonna close it and say, don't save. CSS transitions are really cool. On to the next.